Hey guys, this is Ms. Creeps, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a custom door block using M Creator. Um, and actually, I got this as a suggestion from one of my viewers, so I thank you very much for that. And there is no proper way to really make a door block, so I'm going to be creating this from scratch. So, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to create a block. And let's call this door block. Create a new block. We'll select our texture. I'm gonna want to just make this a regular block. I'm gonna make it, I guess, iron and metal. Keep it in decorations. And we'll just call this door block. I'm gonna make this five. I like to do five and six here. Because I believe that those are the values um, for the metal blocks. Make this pickaxe. This is gonna be a type of metal block. We do not need to fill in any of these stuff. Next page. It's not important. Next page, next page. I want to keep this right here. I want to create a new block and we'll call this door frame. And we can select our texture. It'll be this little outline texture because we're actually going to be able to walk through this block. So we can make this, I guess, we can just make it iron as well and metal. Same tab. And we can make this unbreakable since we do not want this to be broken. And we can um, check can walk through block. Next page, next page, next page. Okay, now is where we're going to do the actual coding. So we're going to to go to this procedure, unblock, right click, the procedure. And what we're going to do is, okay, so whenever the door frame is right clicked, um, we are going to want to make this. It's under block procedures, I believe. Yes. Wait. Hold on, let me find it. So we need to replace block at XYZ with this. And we're going to keep this the same. We're just going to, I guess, we can fill this with whatever you want right now. Keep that like that. I'm going to duplicate this. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to go to, I believe, logic operations. No, it's under math. Drag that down, and we're going to choose Y plus sign, and we're going to do minus 1. Actually, I'm going to do the code. This might take a little while. I'm going to see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so here is the code you're going to need, I believe. And I actually made a mistake. You actually have to save the block um, before you can actually select it on here. So my bad, and actually, let's select our block right here. Just like that, and do this, and this. Okay, so what this means, like all these, okay, so let me explain the code. So if the block, um, so if the block, um, at the, above, or below the block is the same block, that it will replace the blocks with that block. And then this is basically the same thing except inverted. Save mod element. So now, actually, I'm going to just close uh, the client out. It's like that. And now we can do the exact same for this block. And block right clicked. We can do if. And then it will be under logic operations. This block right here. Block procedures get block at XYZ and then equals where is it? It's under Minecraft components. This one right here with just a single block. Place that right there. And then under block procedures, it'll be replace block. Just gonna duplicate that. Gonna duplicate actually no, we're not gonna duplicate that. Go to math. And then we are going to get our Y plus one from math. And we can just duplicate that, bring that up there. So if the block equals this one, we can replace block with these. And then we can just duplicate this again. 
we can turn this to minus one. And there we go, that should be all we really need to do. So let me just um, start up the game and I'll see you in the game. So guys, while this loads, I actually found the name of, um, of the person who actually um, recommend this this re recommend this topic. It is Envy Knight, and he said, "I think I found a helpful YouTuber, and I subbed to you. I want I want to see you um, make a door in M Creator. So I want to thank you for giving me that suggestion on my M Creator 2020.2 tutorial on um, doors. I mean not doors, um, custom advancements. So go check that out. Um, I card in the top right." So let us get our brand new block. Let's see if this will actually work. If we get our blocks just like that, then we actually have to shift place it, plus it if you place it. As you can see, we're able to walk through it. Um, you will have to do some. You will have to do a bit of other texturing. There is an error with the texturing sometimes, but as you can see, we can actually walk through it. And if we click it again, ah, oh, that's weird. Why is it not working? As you can see, we can actually walk through it. Don't know why it's not working. Huh. Let me go sort out the issue and I'll show you what I changed. Okay, guys. So I honestly don't know what is actually wrong. So as you can see here, it's basically the same exact code except these are inverted. We just actually do that. You see, it's the exact same code. Look at that. And for some reason, this one does not work. You see here, click on it, and nothing is happening. Too weird. But hopefully, if we just get our actual block, door frame block, maybe then I'll work. But as you can see, I can actually right click on them. This is a problem we we'll have to solve. A door frame. Oh, it's because I didn't assign the procedure. Oops. So yeah, that could probably be why it didn't work. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you're new to my channel, it would be greatly appreciated. If we're if if you were to subscribe, I've gotten a crazy amount of subscribers. Just two days ago, I had 101. I have 106 as of the time I'm recording this. I'll thank you guys so much for watching this video. And we're on our way to 150 subscribers, and I thank you guys so much for that. I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye, guys.